Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at a proportion question and it says that Fred has a recipe for 30 biscuits and here's the list of ingredients for the 30 biscuits. So he's going to use that amount of flour, that amount of butter, that amount of caster sugar and that amount of eggs. And then Fred wants to make 45 biscuits and you need to complete the new list of ingredients for the 45 biscuits and we're going to work that out. Okay, well, I think there's a couple of ways you can do this. The, the tempting way is to work out um, how much flour you need per biscuit. So what you do is you divide each of these by 30 and that would give you 7.6 or something. Divide that by 30, that would give you a certain amount of butter. Okay, um, you could do that, and then you could multiply each of those by 45. However, I think the easiest way to do this probably is to look at this and say, well, actually, if I know that you need 230 grams of flour for 30 biscuits, if I half that for 15 biscuits, what I need is half of this amount because half of 30 is 15. And it's kind of easier to half each of these each time. So I'm going to get 115 grams of flour. I'm going to get 75 grams of butter. I'm going to get 50 grams of sugar and I'm going to get one egg. OK, so that's going to then give me enough material or enough uh, ingredients for those 15 biscuits. So then if I want to make 45 biscuits, is each of these multiplied by 3 because 45 divided by 15 is 3. So therefore, I need three lots of these ingredients. OK, so really, it's then just a matter of multiplying each of these by three. So for the flour, um, 115 for uh, 15 biscuits. If I multiply that by three, I'm going to get 345. So I need 345 grams. For the butter, well, it's 75 times three, and that's going to be 225 that's 225 grams. Uh, for the caster sugar, it's 50 times three, so that's gonna be 150, so 150 grams of caster sugar. And then for the eggs, well, I need one egg for 15 biscuits. Multiply that by three, so that's gonna be three eggs. Okay, now I'm very aware that the way I multiply what might be different to the way that you do it, but essentially that's the whole idea that usually with these sorts of questions they make um, a kind of a harder way to do it, which is to work out the, uh, the amount of ingredients per biscuit and then multiply through, or they kind of make this 30 and this 45 kind of connect a little bit so you're able to, to work these out. Unfortunately, however, the same can't be said for the second part of the question, which is Jill has um, one kilogram of self-raising flour. She's plenty of the ingredients. Work out the maximum number of biscuits that Jill could bake. So I thought about this long and hard, and really the only way to deal with this uh, particularly straightforward is to say, well, if she needs 30 biscuits, and for that she needs... 230 grams of flour then really the easiest way probably is to work out how much flour you need per biscuit okay which is going to be 230 divided by 30 and if you work that out that comes out as 7.6 recurring okay now i'm very aware again there's different ways of working this out but i would imagine these sorts of questions probably would be um, a fairly high level non-calculator or a calculator type question so um, unfortunately i can't do anything about this 0.6 recurring this basically means 666 so this is seven and two thirds of a gram of flour for each biscuit. So therefore, if you want to work out how many biscuits you can make from one kilogram of self-raising flour, well, she needs to know how many grams of that there are in a thousand grams because one kilogram is the same as a thousand grams of self-raising flour okay so the actual calculation for this will be what is a thousand 
divided by 7.6 recurring. Now that will work out at about 130. Now it's going to be a little bit more than 130, but she's not actually going to be making a little bit of a biscuit. She's going to be making whole biscuits. So that's going to give you 130 biscuits. So I think the difficulty with this question is not so much um, the actual question itself, it's more the calculations itself. So whether you do that sort of calculation or you do you know, these sort of calculations, however you do it, that's going to be the difficulty with this sort of question. So I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, please do let me know in the comments below and subscribe to the site. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.